Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to install a VPN on the Walmart on Google TV box. Now, the Walmart on Google TV box is becoming a very popular alternative to the Amazon Fire Stick, which only costs $20 and runs the Android TV operating system. So guys, the first step to installing a VPN on the Walmart on Google TV box is I'm going to click the search icon up here. And if you scroll down, you can click this icon where it says search movies, shows, apps, and more. I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to type in Surfshark as Surfshark VPN is our number one recommended VPN at IPTV Wire. And this VPN works great on not only the Walmart on Google TV box, but also streaming devices in general. So once I type in Surfshark, I'm going to click enter, and then it's going to bring up Surfshark VPN right from the Google Play Store. And all you need to do here is click install. So then once I click install, you're going to have to wait a little bit while this app installs on your Walmart on Google TV box. All right, after Surfshark VPN has installed, what I'm going to do first, guys, is I'm going to click the home button on my remote, and then I'm going to hover over apps. And once I hover over apps, I can scroll down to the very end and you will find Surfshark here. Now, if I hold down the OK button on my remote, I can actually move Surfshark towards the front of my apps list. I'm going to click move. And then I'm going to drop Surfshark towards the very front of my apps list as I always want to make sure that I am connected to Surfshark VPN when using this device. So once Surfshark is towards the front of my apps list, I'm going to click the app to launch it. And once you launch Surfshark for the first time on your Walmart on Google TV box, you're going to be prompted with the login screen. Now, if you do not have a Surfshark VPN account, you can find a special discount link below this video that will get you the best discount for Surfshark VPN. And guys, that also does help support myself and this channel create these free tutorials for you guys. Now, I obviously have a Surfshark VPN account, so I'm going to click log in. And then I'm going to enter my login credentials and I'm going to skip ahead after I have logged in to Surfshark. All right, so after I'm logged in to Surfshark, the very first thing I wanna do is click Quick Connect. That way I can just get quickly connected to an anonymous connection. And once you get this with any VPN, you'll get a connection request message. Make sure you click OK or it will not work. So then to give it a few seconds while Surfshark VPN is connecting. And the nice part about these Android TV devices is you get an option that just came up on the top right that said VPN is connected. You will not see that on an Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV devices. So I do like that about Android TV devices. So you'll see here I am on a Kansas City server. Now guys, just some quick tips here once you have established your Surfshark VPN connection is to come over to the settings icon here, click VPN settings, and here's an option here that I always like to turn on is the kill switch. So Surfshark is one of the few VPNs that offers a working kill switch on Fire Stick and also Android TV devices like the Walmart Google TV box. So I wanna make sure that this is always turned on. And I also wanna ensure that I'm always on the WireGuard protocol as that is the fastest VPN protocol offered by Surfshark. Now, if you click features on the left, Another cool feature here is CleanWeb. So CleanWeb is Surfshark's built-in ad and malware blocker. So if you want to go into, you know, different web browsers or, you know, different apps that are riddled with ads and malware, having the CleanWeb feature here is one of the best features that Surfshark VPN offers. Now, you do need to reconnect here. So I'm going to click CleanWeb and I'm going to click reconnect. And you do have to reconnect when you get on CleanWeb, but that's okay. So now that I'm on Surfshark, guys, that is it. That is how you install Surfshark VPN on your Walmart on Google TV box. All right, guys. So the final thing I want to show you in this tutorial is to double check that Surfshark VPN is connected and working on your Walmart on Google TV box. So I'm going to hit the home button on my remote and I went ahead and installed this web browser called TV Bro. This is available inside the Google Play Store and you can install any web browser for this example, what I'm about to show you. So I'm gonna launch TV Bro um, and you, you know, launching this for the first time, I'm just going to say, yes, let's start using new engine. Um, so launch any web browser guys. And what I'm about to show you, if you click the URL box here, is I'm going to go to a website called DNS Leak Test. So if I type in DNS, leak test. 
All right, so after I search DNS leak test, you'll see the first option that comes up on Google. I'm going to click that. And here we go. What this website does is it tells me what my IP address is on this device. Now, I know my VPN is working because I am located on the Kansas City server and my physical residence is not Kansas City and this is not my real IP address. So I know that my VPN is connected and working. So that's it, guys. That is how you install Surfshark VPN or any VPN on your Walmart on Google TV device. Again, I have a special discount link below if you do want to look into Surfshark VPN with the best discount that does help support myself and this channel. Again, this is Bodie with IPTV Wire. Appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to like this video, comment below, subscribe to my channel. Guys, I hope you all have a great day.